Okay, so this will be a short little video where I talk about how I cut the squish band on some of these uh, chainsaw cylinders here. So this is a 390 cylinder. I've already started to cut the chamber. You can kind of see some of the waviness, which I'll get to in a little bit, and how to fix that. So the first thing I do when I'm gonna cut a, a cylinder is I'll set my tool up in here. I'll use an old cutter here to start with to break through the chrome or the Nicosil overplating that's on the uh, the squish band. I'll use an old cutter here to start with, break through that, because this one's already dull. That plating dulls your, your HSS cutter here anyways. So I'll break through that plating with an old uh, cutter here, then I'll get a new cutter, and this is one of these blank ones. I'm using the, a quarter by half, so I can have larger set screws here, since these are aluminum mandrels that I've made these out of. I The smaller, thread size it's easy to break the tap off so I just went I think these are quarter 20 set screws in here in this one um, and I'll shape my cutter kind of like this profile here so that only that far edge out here cuts and then it's relieved over here on this side the easiest way to you know modify one of these is with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel and then switch over to a uh, just a regular grinding wheel to get this profile on the side that you want. Um, I I like using three set screws so that you know that this cutter can't move, and um, that's how I'm doing it. So step one: break through the chrome or nickel plating that's been overplated on the top of the cylinder, the squish band. Step two: swap in a good cutter. A new fresh cutter so you get a nice smooth finish and then what I'll do is as I'm checking the cylinder I'll add one additional 20 thou thick base gasket beyond you know the amount that I'm gonna have so most of the time I just add two gaskets below the cylinder and then when I hit that once it, the motor rotates over at around that you know extra 20 thousandths mark then I know that it's time to sand the chamber where I'll use the same mandrel that I use to cut the skirt or to cut a cylinder base, you know, one of these ones that's a lot closer in size. This one's slightly undersized so I can uh, move this cutter a little bit farther out so I reach a little bit beyond the edge of the combustion chamber so there's no clearance issues. So this, if you look really closely, this edge is slightly past the edge of this mandrel. So once you, once you know the motor rotates over, uh, then you know you're you're getting close. So what I will do is I'll use this mandrel. I'll make a I'll put a piece of sandpaper. I like using the sandpaper with a woven back so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't rip. So th this could be like a belt sander belt. I think this one here is actually like uh, some type of disc sander, but it needs to be a woven back uh, type of sandpaper. It just is a lot more durable. I usually do like 120 grit is what I normally do. This one's 180, but this is just for demonstration. So I'll punch my hole in the center. I'll screw it on with my quarter 20 bolt here. Then I'll trace it with a Sharpie underneath and around this edge here. And then I'll cut it out with the scissors. I'll bolt it back on and then I'll trim it up with the razor blade. If you were gonna try to cut the whole thing with the, a razor blade, it would just take too long. This stuff's pretty tough, so that's that's how I'm doing that. So I'll, then I'll go in and I'll uh, draw with a sharpie, and so I can have you know like a witness mark that I've brought all the high spots down to the low spots, so that I know that I have a smooth chamber again. Since this was uh, faced when I made this mandra, I faced this, so this is a perfect 90 degrees here, and I'll sand it and then. I'll slowly start cutting the chamber again. I like to leave the final finish uh, of this. I like to leave the final finish of it with the cutter because that leaves a nice smooth, um, nice smooth surface. Whereas the sandpaper kind of leaves, uh, you know, there's like little lines in it and stuff. So I like to the final cut, final little bit. I'll I'll use this very light to, to clean it up. Um, but yeah, so this is just like a little. A little bit of how I'm doing it. This seems to be so far the best way that I figured out how to do it, and I figured that I would uh, just make a quick video and share. So, all right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.